welcome back. My name is Chris. This is Christmas time in the city. We're currently at 59th Street and 6th Avenue. You can see all the horses lined up. Pretty expensive if you want to do that, or you can just walk it. Horses don't really have a great life, so keep that in mind. They live inside of a hollowed out brownstone a few blocks away from Central Park. Not a ton of fun. So we're currently crossing over 59th Street, looking southbound on 6th Avenue. Hi, Dwayne. Welcome back. We'll see how well I can keep up and talk to you guys with the mask on and the, all the noise might be a little difficult, but we'll see what we can do. Shops still open. I love New York store. Also, I love camera equipment store. Looks like you also get a little bit of a taste of how the outdoor seating is going here. Some pretty impressive heaters up ahead. So this is 58th Street, 6th Avenue, heading southbound. It's currently about 39 degrees, quite cold. Well, it's starting out, it's the first cold day, so this person's trying to do that. I'm not gonna tell me to hit us. Here we go. Thank everyone for watching now or watching in the future on our Facebook page and our YouTube page. We're trying to draw traffic over to YouTube so we can do more live streams over there. It's a little bit better quality, but you need to have a thousand subscribers in order to do live streams. So, gotta figure that out. So that person was holding a speaker that was playing that music. It's always a fun move to play a Bluetooth speaker amongst a group of friends. We are in Midtown, Manhattan. Fifty Seventh Street. Sixth Avenue. This guy. There's a crossing guard who is guarding the crosswalk. So you can see some lights up ahead at the Hilton. There's some stuff going on, and there's lights up here actually. On a bus and that gentleman is going to jump on a bus. Fares are now required on the buses. Don't be fooled. They were free for a time. But now you got to pay. So we started our walk at 59th Street and 6th Avenue at the south entrance of Temple Park. Now we're walking south. And we'll probably cut east or to our left in a few blocks. You gotta get coffee soon. One block over that way at 7th Avenue is where you'll find the Ed Sullivan Theater, Carnegie Hall, and probably about 15 Starbucks. more outdoor seating, even though it's indoors, 
technically I guess it's outdoors because it's outside in the cold, as long as you're uncomfortable. Sounds of the city. We had a pretty fun time finding a parking spot. That's why I always recommend not getting a car when you come to visit. It's a pretty big pain in the butt. A lot of these spots in Midtown, I've spent quite a bit of time working in the food trucks. You end up parking out in these areas. Now we're at 55th Avenue and 6th Avenue, which is now called Avenue of the Americas, this portion. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I do not know. Depending on the quality of this video, you may see the sign up ahead, Radio City Music Hall. Sixth Avenue is where all the uh, ornaments and the decorations and stuff around Radio City are. We'll do another video later today, walking up Fifth Avenue to see the lights and all the stuff over there. But first, we're walking to Rockefeller Center. It does look nice with all the lights set up. That's someone's full-time job. Sorry. It's nice when they do stuff like that, because you know the businesses and these property management companies don't have to decorate, but they do, which is nice. I'm sure they recoup on it somehow, but for the time being, it's just nice to kind of take a look at. Now coming up to 53rd Street and 6th Avenue, Avenue of Americas, heading south. One of these pop-up stands, if you don't have any warm clothes, it's almost always something for you. I can't guarantee it'll be a good quality. So if you need a hat, these vendors are usually willing to accommodate for a price. That's why you shouldn't jaywalk. Considering it's a Sunday in December in Manhattan, it's not very busy, which is nice. We're gonna wait one second over here. You can look at that. NYPD in the flesh. There's a nice smell of something right here. Crepes, waffles, breakfast stuff in this cart over there, and then down over that way, that's the halal guys. Pretty well known halal food that they pump out here. There's another location. They have so many locations in this one intersection to accommodate during the lunch rush, and they still have lines.
So we're gonna see how close we can get to the Rockefeller Center tree. I think we'll be able to walk past it at least. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to actually get a really good look at it. They have you wanting to make uh, reservations and it's all very uh, distant. I'm not sure exactly how it works. It's an opportunity to check that out as well. Here's some very real purses here. You know it's real because it's on the ground. You want to buy a thousand dollar purse. Best to look on the floor. You can't see it too much, but there's. This cop's not feeling that. That's a fun thing they can do as well. They can talk directly to your car. There's some toy soldiers up against the, up against the, the columns there, which is kind of cool. Here's another officially licensed coach store. It's part of the part of the, the charm, I guess, is getting some counterfeit. Up while you're in the city. So Radio City Music Hall, right here. I think maybe we should try to go down this way. Let's go this way. Yeah. We can give it a shot. So, we'll see. Let's get up on the curb here so we can get a better shot. Candy canes are on down yonder, bus. Not a great shot of the candy canes. Great paint, guys. What do you do, I mean, I get like having it as a souvenir, but what do you do with that when you get it home? Do you frame it? <laughs> food cart. Yeah. The trick with the food carts is if there's no line or they're not, they don't look busy, the food may not be that fresh or maybe sitting around a little bit. So bear that in mind. So let's check out. This is. Rockefeller Center here, 30 Rock. This is how they're doing it. We're not going this way, it looks like. So the line starts here, or ends here. I guess it depends on how you look at it. And it goes all the way down there. And they have little spots blocked off for you to, to wait in. I do not want to try to do it. New York City. Yeah, I don't think I don't want to go over there, and I'm going to get rid of have reservations. I feel like they have Do you want to go there? Let's do it. We're going to attempt. I don't think it's safe. No, there, there's, there, there's no distance at all. So we were going to try to do the Rockefeller tree, take a look at it, but there's about a thousand people packed in there and there's no space in between any of them. And that's not how I want to spend my evening or the next several months. As suspected, it is incredibly crowded around the tree. Sure. Yeah. So this looks like there's another line over here for the tree as well. And there's maybe two lines on uh, 50th and 49th. Okay. 
There's more people jam packed in there, and this is a hot spot. That's the line that's like waiting to go to yeah. the spot. I can't wait to get notifications on my phone later that I was in this neighborhood and that there was a potential outbreak. That's a fun one. Take a quick spin around. Let's see what we're looking at. This is where we chose to live. How about that? It's pretty silly, right? Fox News. With their wraparound. Decorations up over there, pretty nice. This guy's live streaming his own shop. Pretty chill. We've had some pretty interesting uh, experiences with uh, counterfeit bag people before in Canal Street, specifically, where you actually go into dilapidated buildings and into basements and stuff. It's pretty nuts. Take a small break here. So we're gonna cut down here to 48th Street. We're gonna turn east on 48th Street and go to the other side over to Fifth Avenue. See if we can see the tree from over there without waiting in line for all those people. Frosty, ice cream stand, or ice cream truck. Not the best ice cream. People love just hanging out in the middle of the sidewalk, like they're at their own home. That's one thing people actually, people get about New Yorkers all the time is that they get to tell you how they're, they're so they're so mean and they don't have any patience for people. If you stand in the middle of the sidewalk, it's like standing in the middle of the street. And you're on your way home. And the last thing you want is someone standing in your way while you're trying to go somewhere. So, little tip: move off to the side. Don't stand in the middle of the sidewalk. So here's another dining experience. When this is originally airing, there are three people watching. How about that? Thank you for sticking out, sticking around. We're going to be probably doing some more of these live streams in the future, like I said before, on Facebook and potentially on YouTube. With the YouTube, we have some work to do to meet the requirements for live streams. Parking situation, if you need to park, there are parking garages. This is the Rockefeller Center parking garage, so that's where... Jimmy Fallon with Parker's car or Lauren Michaels or something. And then they would pop right out there. And they're out into the night. If they're driving themselves. They may not even drive themselves. I know a lot of them don't live in the city, so there's a little bit of a commute. We're walking east on 48th Street. One block south of Rockefeller Center proper where the tree is. Hoping to catch a glimpse of it without having to wait in any of the crazy lines. Oh, a donut shop coming here. So that's good to know. There's another lineup of some sort here. So, you cannot get away from it. This is for the Nintendo store. This lineup. So, if you have family that's visiting the city, don't make them go to the Nintendo store for you. You know, the idea is there. Well, oh, you should stop and get so-and-so a uh, switch case. No, you should do it on Amazon or something. Don't send someone to <laughs> the, uh... Let's wait a second to talk about this. So there's the Christmas tree. 
Having a borderline anxiety attack over people around art, but I'm trying my best to get out and do stuff. There's the tree, all 85 feet of it. Norwegian spruce, upstate New York. Looks a lot better than it did. This looks like it's gonna be as close as we're gonna get. It's fine with me. Farsky crystal, star on top. Take another little look up. Don't forget, everything's super tall. And yeah, we're gonna head out. This is like the closest you can get to the freaking. All right. I was eating, but I couldn't. Not like both. I mean, you can really come out, not in. Exit only, folks. Exit only, folks. Continues. We're now walking to Fifth Avenue. All right. Now picturing the opening of 30 Rock. Give us about three or four minutes, Michael, and then we'll get you something a little bit more familiar from the opening of 30 Rock. Walking east, 48th Street, H&M, Lululemon. Anyone that knows me knows I love my yoga pants. So that's where I would go if I wasn't physically ashamed of my body. Someone's pumping out some Christmas music, which is always appreciated. Unless it's the beginning of a reggaeton song that I'm not aware of. Some of these things. If you want to throw some stuff away later on at the hotel. So here we are on Fifth Avenue. I'm going to wait a second. There's some creepers behind me. They were watching me the whole time. Fifth Avenue, the most famous shopping street in the world. And the Saks Fifth Avenue light display here at a horrible angle to see. Pretty good view here at the TGI Fridays. <laughs> oh, this table for four, please, right here, next to this garbage can, and all these people on their cell phones.
is the Saks Fifth Avenue uh, light display. It's directly across the street from Rockefeller Center. In fact, you can see the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree from right here. wandered incredibly far from Chris, so hopefully she's not lost. Let's take a real quick look over this way. Another shot of the Christmas tree. I'll try to wait here as long as I can for my wife to come. And I can't see you, you're too short. You're too short. <laughs> so that's the that's what's going on here. Yeah, so I would say it's pretty crowded over here. It's crazy. I mean, it's obviously crazy for what it is, but it's that. And Michael, right over there, which I'll get to in a second, that's the Atlas statue. From the very beginning of Rock or 30 Rock. Just trying to let Chris catch up wherever she might be. Here's just a nice little fun shot of the horrible traffic of New York City. It just towed a car away. You don't want to park right here. That's where it was parked, right here. It's not where you want to park. Let's take a walk over to the Atlas statue. <laughs> Looking at that, here's St. Patrick's Cathedral on the right. It's a really cool place to check out if you're in the city. You need a place to sit down and relax. It's very cool. And there's another side street. This is 50th Street. We're heading northbound now on Fifth Avenue towards. 59th Street and the Plaza Hotel. Scooting this way. Just got word that an episode of Christmas Clatter that I was a part of will be airing on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that episode of Christmas Clatter where we recast slash miscast a very popular Christmas movie. Here's that. You know he's got his mask on. How about that? Is that like the? Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Let's not forget, we're still in New York City. Here's another shot of St. Patrick's Cathedral. So now the, you see the clock up there, I probably should have pointed it out earlier. The lights for the Saks Fifth Avenue window, or the light display, or periodically, they're like every 10 minutes, I believe. So you look at the clock up there to see exactly when the next viewing is. So. Very cool. Yeah, the music's pretty loud. It's crazy that you think that you won't be able to hear music, but the Saks Fifth Avenue is pumping out music a lot. It's, uh... It was... Here's a, it's funny, we saw snow driving in, but I think it was from a TV show production. So I don't think it was real snow. It threw me off because we hadn't seen any snow yet this season or heard anything about it, so. Snow will be nice. The snow only lasts a few moments here before it gets really gross, dark and horrible. So this, this spot here, I'm waiting for Chris to catch up.
She currently thinks I'm on the other side of the street looking at the lights. We haven't had too many cold days yet. This is the first one. I, I, this is really isn't too bad. It's only like I think 38 or 37 right now. The, there's a little bit of a breeze out by the water, f far away from the buildings. So it's a little bit chillier because the wind chill, but not yet. So that's one thing that I always kind of tell people if they want to see a good white Christmas in New York City, you're gonna have to settle for late January. It definitely s snows here, but. Not this early, unfortunately, in December. There's this person here doing her own live stream. We're gonna keep heading up to 59th Street. Maybe we'll end it here and I'll come back in a few minutes when we've regrouped. Thanks again for watching this and we'll be back in a little bit. Thanks so much.